Hello my crafty friends, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky Papercraft, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba. I've got a mix and match for you today. We're going to be using the Panda Bear from Wild and Sweet, which is in the 2022-23 annual catalog. And I'm going to be using a freebie from Celebration that goes until the end of August 2022. Um, and that's the perfect pom pomegranate. If you place a qualifying host order, you get this set for free. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I live in Canada. We don't really have pomegranates growing anywhere. And I didn't love this set until I started to break out the elements. Now, let me show you what I've done the last couple of days. Um, this was a card that I did with paper. I fussy cut paper from the Gnomes um, Designer Series paper. And I made this little banner. And these little Versamark pieces are actually um, these ones down here. It, my friend and I were talking about it today, actually, and it can be rain, it can be snow, it can be just about anything. Um, if you really wanted to, you could color each one of those pieces independently and have just sort of like a um, confetti type look with it as well. Now, this is one that I did on Sunday. Um, you might have seen it earlier with the, uh, for the Case the Caddy Copy and Selectively Edit inspiration that I do um, each week. So I use the flower um, as well as these little flecks again in this card. So what I'm going to use today, actually, I was looking at this and the leaves kind of reminded me of bamboo. Now, I know it's not exactly bamboo looking, but we're going to play and we're going to see what we come up with. So I've got a few pieces here. Um, I've got a card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, no, actually, we don't. We've got a piece of designer series paper that's going to act as our base. Then we've got a piece of mint macaroon, which is going to go on top. I'm going to be stamping on our uh, basic white, and I'm going to be doing the leaves on this to make a frame as well for our panda. Now, let's get started. So we've got this. So we're going to layer this way so we're going to do the white we're going to stamp with the trees we're going to stamp the panda on the white and then use mint macaroon for our matte layer so we're going to do the panda first because i'm really not sure how big he's going to be grab my versamark here um, and the color that i've chosen for my leaves um, is old olive i know it's mint macaroon in the designer series paper but I don't think it's dark enough to um, make an effective background. So as usual, when I have a larger stamp, I like to do ink to the stamp to make sure that I've got really good coverage. Now I'm going to take this guy here. I'm okay going a little bit over the edge because I'm probably going to trim this guy down anyway. And then we're just going to press. Now if you wanted to make sure that you've got a really good impression, you could use your Stamparatus. I'm just using my block. I just inked up this memento, so it gave a good impression. I've got a few ink, hmm, a few ink pad lines, so we're gonna turn it over and try again. You can also brush across if you wanted to make sure that you weren't gonna get any lines. should be good. Now I'll try again and see where we end up. Okay, make sure we're on our paper. And again, I'm not too terribly fussy if I'm going to get off the edge because I'm going to trim it anyway. Oh, that's better. Okay. So I'm going to put this guy back in his case. I'll give him a wash when we're done. I'm going to trim so that I know what size to trim our mat to so that I have a rough idea of where we're going to get to um, where we're going to need our leaves to show. Okay, so I'm going to cut fairly close to the top. Now, I don't really care if the tree gets cut off. I do care if my panda gets cut off. Pandas are one of my favorite animals. They have been for ages. 
um, when I was in school uh, at the Winnipeg Zoo, we had the pandas come for a visit and I was in, I think, junior high um, and our choir went and performed for the opening ceremony. It was so much fun. Okay. So we've got our panda guy here. So we've got three and a half by... Um, you know what? I'm just going to make the math easier on my head today. So I'll do... If I trim there. Yeah, that's going to be a little close. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. So we've got... I'm going to cut it at three and three quarters by three. Hold on, make sure we've got, okay. So three, cut twice, or cut twice, measure twice, cut once. And then three and three quarters, or measure multiple times, cut once. Hopefully cut once. Okay. That is pretty good there. So now we've got our white. I'm probably going to go a little bit more... Um, Probably going to go a little bit lower versus center. But again, we'll start stamping and see what happens. Now, sometimes, and I know you've heard me say this time and time again, um, in the manufacturing process, there's residue or whatever left on for the photopolymer stamps. You can either wash it um, with a little bit of soap, or you can do what I'm going to do and just a little bit of Versamark over top first. I find, um, especially with the stamp sets um, that have like a more textured feel or a bit of a watercolor look that it actually um, helps me get a better impression. So Old Olive is my color of choice. So we're gonna do, I haven't stamped this one before, so we're just gonna see what it's gonna look like. And I want to do it so that the stem is a little bit more, is covered up um, by our panda. So there's really not any rhyme or reason to the way I'm doing this. I'm just inking it up. And you can see that there's different variations with the color. If I don't like it, we can always flip the paper over and try again, right? The good thing about... Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, with your Stamparatus, if you wanted to do a restamp, so easy. It's exactly in the place that you left it. And you can just go from there. Okay, I actually kind of like how that's clustered like that. Um, adhesive. And now we're just going to build up our card. Some assembly required. I am going to go down a little um, because I do want a few more of the leaves showing. Okay, that's good. And then again, just a quick run of adhesive. Add a very subtle layer of color 
with the coloring pencils. Uh, this is Granny Apple Green. But very lightly coloring over, not being too fussy about it at all. And then, no, not, that's not the right color. early espresso for our tree and again I'm hardly putting any pressure on my pencil at all I might do a little bit more um, down here around the knot and I do want to be oops I missed those leaves I'll have to go back and get them in a sec I'm not even going to bring my blender pen in with this one is literally super light pressure. A little bit darker with the knot, like I said. Just a tiny hint of color with this guy. I always miss something when I'm coloring. Which is why I usually keep my Pencils or markers close to where I'm working. Okay, that's not straight. I don't love that. So, spatula end. I'm going to pry it underneath. Oops. Come on. There we go. Gently pry it up. I love my take your pick tool. down and make it straighter there we go that's better and I think we're gonna call it done now we're gonna put our adhesive on um, I didn't grab a card base but let's see what I've got in my bag of tricks down here oops so this is from design a daydream I love the bicycle pattern there are so many fun, bright patterns in this paper pack, and it's also a host set um, in the annual catalog. There's also um, a host set that you can get from the new mini with so many fun, bright colors. Okay, nope, that's not. Oh, that's thick. I don't want thick cardstock. It looks like I might have to grab. Oh, there we go. Uh, ch -ch -ch. No, I will have to put this on a base later. Um, but let's add a little bit of bling. My rhinestones were on my desk earlier today for some crafting. So I've got them right here. Um, I'm not going to put a sentiment because I don't want any. Whoops! I don't want anything to detract from our card. Plus, I'm also really not sure what I'm going to be using this for yet. We'll do one down here. Whoops. All right. So I am going to be using um, the pomegranate stamp set a few times because I've actually had, as I was kind of thinking through what each element could be used for, I was thinking about ways of modifying um, or changing it up but there are so many possibilities with this you could do a botanical you can use this flower like I did um, on that other sample card that I showed you you could also um, do a fun background color with markers and get two tones maybe three tones on the same flower so I will be absolutely having more fun with this this week Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below so you're notified every single time a new video goes live and hit the notification bell. Also, um, if you'd like to get my newsletter into your inbox filled with all kinds of other inspiration, tips, tricks, and ideas, the link for that is down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you again really soon.